Okay, now I will continue on how to do the approximation for the uh, Kranikelson using the molecule which we have created before. Okay, so we go, we look at my slide over here. <coughs> this is your molecule. Okay, so the molecule which we have created from the simplified Kranikelson formula uh, on the top of my slide over here. Okay, you will transform it, you will simplify and transform it into the molecule, into the final equation and then it finally it become or you can illustrate it in, in the form of molecule formula like this. Okay, so what you will do next is actually, uh, okay, this is the same molecule which I created. Eh? Uh, so what you will do from this molecule, you will bring the molecule to your diagram over here. And make sure that you put the molecule uh, uh, at the the center of the molecule must be at the center point number one, which I uh, write or which I note in my slide over here. Okay, this is your center molecule. Okay, so make sure the center position of the molecule is at the center of the um, the point that you want to find the value. Okay, so what you do, okay, when you put the molecule, your molecule diagram uh, here, okay, after you put your molecule diagram here, what you need to do, okay, you have to rewrite, okay, let's say at the center point number one, this is equal to, okay, negative one, Negative 1 times 0 0.195 plus 4, this is 4, times U I J plus 1, okay, minus negative 1, minus 1 times with U I plus 1, J plus 1, okay, equal, okay, to 0 times 1, plus 0 times 0 0.5 plus 1 times 1 okay so all the thing all the numbers which i uh, mentioned just now okay you can rewrite okay rewrite it like this okay for this case uh, in this case uh, i have changed eh? uh, instead of using u i j or u i plus u i plus one uh, j okay in the form of that uh, that coordinate i can also change it into in the form of like this okay, coordinate like this okay so how did i do it okay so go back to your diagram okay let's say i create a coordinate eh? let's say i'm using uh, different coordinate eh? I'm not using the U I and J position okay let's say I want to create in term of coordinate let's say this is my coordinate 1 at Y X axis this is my coordinate number 2 this is 3 4 and 5 okay at the Y axis I can change this into coordinate 1 and coordinate 2 so when I want to write eh, uh, or when I want to rewrite the every molecule position I can simply use the coordinate which I write in a green pen using the green pen okay for example over here for this molecule okay the coordinate is u in the x axis is 1 in the y axis is 2 so this is u 1 2 this will be u and the x axis is 2 and the y axis is 2 so this is u 2 2 at this position Okay, the coordinate is u, 3 at x, and 2 x, y. Okay, and this is u, for at this position, this is u, 4, 2. Okay, uh, so this is how you can uh, rewrite the coordinate back. So this is u, 5, 2. This is u, 1, 1. This will be u, 2, 1. 
this is u31 u41 and u51 okay you can uh, use eh, other method to show the to represent uh, the value at each position okay this is another alternative method that you can do okay instead of using inj because when we're using inj uh, you have to remember okay once you change the molecule sorry once uh very small okay once you change the position of the molecule okay uh we have to use back the ui i plus one and j okay accordingly okay so you will get confused if you are using that method and eh? that's why i'm using the different uh, coordinate value or i renamed the every position uh, in the terms of coordinate yeah so that it will be much easier for me to rewrite the formula okay in terms of their actual coordinate okay so i will highly suggest you to change uh, each um, item or each more each point to become in terms of coordinate like this Okay, but it's actually up to you. You can use A, B, C instead, or you can use any uh, symbol to represent uh, each point in your diagram. Okay, if you want to use A, B, C, so you can simply use this is A, B. Sorry, you can simply use uh, according to position. So this might be A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H i okay you can use any symbol to represent that particular point okay so now we go back uh to the one which i do uh, okay just, i have to undo back okay let's see So I delete back all the thing that I have right over here. Okay, you go back. We go back to the how we going to form uh, this uh, equation. Okay, so at the center point one, meaning that when you bring your molecule and put the center of the molecule at the center point one position. So over here. Okay, over here. Okay, so. This will, uh, so you will create this formula, okay, you will create this formula or this equation based on the position of the molecule at the center point 1 here. So this will be negative 1 times 0 0.95, so this is what you get, negative 0 0.195 plus 4 times u11. Okay, so plus 4 times u11 and minus u21. This is minus u21 equal to, so equal to 0 times 1 is 0. Okay, plus, okay, 0 times 0 0.5 is 0 plus 1 times 1 is 1. So basically you're going to plus 1 over here. Okay, so you're going to plus 1, equal to 1. Okay, uh, so this will be equal to 1. Okay, so hold on. And then simplify this equation and you have to rearrange uh, this equation to become in a form of u equal to number. Okay, or in a form of, uh, this is what you're going to do uh, in a form of something like you're going to form a metric, lah, something like that. Okay, so from here, I rearrange okay, this equation. And I make it like uh, a metric form. Okay, this is for u11 minus u21 equal to numbers. Okay. Okay, this is at center point one. After you have done, 
Okay, next. Okay, after you have done at the center point one, bring your molecule into the center point two. The center of the molecule must be at the center point two location, like this. Okay. Okay, from here, again, you're going to write, okay, you're going to write this equation, okay, based on the position of your molecule at center point 2. Okay, from here, okay, meaning that negative 1 times u11, negative 1 times u11, okay, plus 4 times u21, Okay, plus 4 times u21 and minus 1 times u31. Minus 1 times u31 equal to 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5. So equal to 1 times 0 0.5 is 0 0.5 plus 1 times 0 0.5 is 0 0.5. So this is your second equation, okay, which you form. Uh, based on the position of the molecule at center point 2. Okay, over here. Okay, next we go to the center point 3. Okay, again you have to move your molecule to the center point 3. Okay, and then repeat back the steps that I have explained just now. Okay, to form the third equation here. Okay, and then simplify it become in the form of u equal to numbers. Okay, so after you have created yeah, the three molecule equation, why you have three molecule equation? Uh, why you have three equation over here is actually okay. You have three equation over here because actually you have three position which is unknown. Okay, or the three position that you want to find the value. So that's why you have three equation over here. Okay, but if you have four position which you want to find the value, meaning that you will have four equation yeah, that you have to create. Okay, so each actually depends on how many points that you want to find. Okay, or how many value points that you want to uh, find. Okay, from these three equation that you have created, yeah, this is the equation number one, this is equation number two, and this one is the number three, you're going to use this as a metric. Okay, okay you have to rearrange this uh, in a form of metric. So this is what I rewrite back. This is the set, and I transform it into a metric. Okay, from here, you can use any suitable metric uh, method, eh? metric solution method that you have learned uh, earlier, okay, and find the value of the unknowns that you want to find from this uh, diagram, okay, or you need to use the metric solution to get the value of the temperature on the road at all position, okay, using the metric, okay, so after you have solved the problem using, using suitable metric uh, method, uh, metric solution or uh, metric approximation method, then you will get the final value of the heat on the road at the position that you want to find. Okay, so this is your final solution after you do the metric equation, metric solution, uh, metric approximation method. All right. So once you have find the three values that you want to get eh, uh, over here, okay, all the three value that you want to get here or you want to find here, okay, now you have to redraw back your heat flow molecule diagram, okay, put all the initial value and also the boundary condition and also the three values that you have calculated using the metric, okay, uh, earlier. And this will become your final heat flow molecule diagram, which show the whole solution or the whole heat temperature or the whole temperature on the road eh, uh, after zero second, eh, which is over here at three, uh, t equal to zero point two five second. Right. So 
this is all what I want to explain using the implicit method. If you don't understand, you can uh, try first uh, the example that I give you. Try by yourself, and you have if you have any problem, you can come. Uh, you can uh, WhatsApp me personally so that I can help you on that. Okay, on your problem, I can. I will try my best to help you on that. All right. For finally for the tutorial. So this is the tutorial question, okay? So you have to use the implicit method, eh? use the implicit method to to do the approximation of the temperature or, or the of the heat value on the road, okay? After certain time given. Okay, for this question, you can see here, okay, let's say you have a steel road which is subjected to a temperature of 1 degree Celsius on both ends. So, meaning that at both ends is 1 degree Celsius. Here is 1 degree, here is 1 degree. Okay, and the length is 2.5 cm. Okay, you have to use implicit method to find the temperature distribution on the road from 3 equal to 0 second and T equal to 0 0.01 second. Okay, so use delta x. Eh? Delta x is 0 0.5 cm. Okay, so it means that eh, the interval here is 0 0.5 cm. Okay, between the road. And initial temperature of the road along the x-axis is 1 degree Celsius, 1.125 and so on. So all the initial temperature is given. Okay, is given here. So you just put the initial temperature. And uh, the heat equation is this one. Okay, so for this case, your C value is equal to 1. Okay, <coughs> right, so you have to find the temperature value at T 0.01 second. So if the T is 0.01 second, meaning that your hash or your delta T is equal to 0.01 second. Right, for t equal to zero second is already given. Yeah, the value is already given, but for the t equal to uh, zero point zero one second is not given. And how about the temperature at boundary at t equal to zero point zero one second? Let's say you have your road over here. Okay, temperature at the boundary here yeah, at t equal to zero point zero one second is the same because it's already mentioned in the uh, question that the Temperature at both end is 1 degree Celsius, meaning that at T 0.01 second, the temperature is maintained at 1 degree Celsius at both end. Okay, so you have to find value here, this one, this one, and this one. Meaning that in this question, you're going to have four equations, eh? meaning that your metric will be in 4 times 4 value, right? So, now you can have a try by yourself and don't forget to submit your tutorial exercise on the next week. And the next week, week 13 is your last week to submit tutorial, all tutorial. Okay, so uh, if you have any inquiries or you have any problem, you can uh, contact me directly. So, thank you very much. So, I hope you uh, can... Do more exercise uh, before your final exam, right? So, thank you and I'll see you next time.